Hi, welcome to the second of these short videos which are going to help you with writing up the different ACs for Unit 3. Can I just remind you that you can take all your notes into the exam, not textbooks, you won't have access to the internet or electronic files, and the idea is that you'll be given a, a short story, a crime um, where things have gone wrong, and you will be given a series of questions where you apply your knowledge. So this is the second of the units and it's a big unit worth 20% of the overall marks. So the first thing you need to know is that you are going to need to cover all six of these different techniques and if you remember um, there are usually lots and lots of little subsections so when we did forensic techniques we looked at fingerprints, we looked at DNA and we looked at computer uh, forensics as well. Okay, so there's an awful lot here to be describing. Okay, but obviously, if you just describe, you're going to get half the marks. You want to evaluate, and the way you evaluate is by thinking of the following things, please. So, um, try and link the uh, the investigative technique to where it would be taking place. So, for example, would it take place at the crime scene? Would it take place at a police station? So, again, if you show that variety of locations, uh, you will be given credit. Secondly, if you can talk about a range of different crimes, it's really tempting just to stick to the violent ones, but if you can mention e-crime and property crime, um, that, again, would be really useful. Okay. Now, in terms of evaluation, advantages, disadvantages, I think you can be pushed in this section, but if you can try and get at least two advantages and two disadvantages of the techniques, that would be good. Remember, you're not necessarily overly describing the technique. You're talking about its contribution to an investigation. And um, examples are always really useful in terms of showing meaning or showing advantages and disadvantages so um, the Colin Pitchfork, the man who was found guilty of two rapes and murders in Leicester in the 1980s, um, he's, the, he's a good example of DNA because he was the first person to be convicted because of DNA analysis. Finally, link in the brief where you can. Can I just also remind you, please, don't copy. Okay? Um, we read scripts hundreds of times. We know, we very quickly work out uh, when people have been copying and we have to give you zero marks in a section if we believe it has been plagiarised either from the internet, again we can check that really easily we have software to do that and uh, we know the textbooks inside out so um, please put things into your own words. Good luck!